that's literally raising the green stuff over there. No rocks, nothing. Um, and it's doing what it needs to be doing. So awesome kit. If you're looking for a range finding bino, this should be one of the options you're considering. Right, so today I want to chat to you a little bit about my experience using uh, the Fury HD range finding binoculars. So I've been running these for about, yeah, you know, probably for about eight months now. And um, I don't know if you can see, but they are, they've been used. Um, they're pretty cool. I like them. I've got the little universal tripod adapter so I can just click them into a tripod if I'm shooting long range and I can have my tri or my range finder on my tripod right next to me. The view through these are incredible. Like I'm snapping, I ranged a guinea fowl at 760 meters now and um, that was no problem. So the Fury HD is pretty cool. It's obviously a little bit bigger than normal binos. Um, there's space for batteries and the laser range finder obviously. Um, but these things are, they're pretty rugged man. Um, I like the texture, they grip very naturally, they sit very naturally. Um, the glass is <laughs> the glass is incredible um, let me arrange something uh, da, da, da. okay there's something okay that was pretty close 228 meters but I mean it's it's pretty instant um, I've been shooting PRS with these for a while um, they've served me very well I have struggled a little bit beyond like 1,200 meters, but we seldomly um, have targets that far and generally we get given uh, distances. So that makes that a little bit easier. I've personally on this uh, range where I am today, I've ranged guinea fowl out to 812 meters. Um, no problem. So far up in the hill, let me actually see if we can find something. Um, So nothing today. Um, I've done quite a little bit of shooting here today already and um, I think I've scared off everything. <laughs> but uh, the Fury HD has served me well over the over the last eight months and um, so you guys would have seen I recently got the Swarovski range finder to the EL range. Wow there's an eagle sw like uh, uh, let me find you. Oh my word. Okay, so this is no bullshit. I've just ranged an eagle swerving in the air at 230 meters. <laughs> that was insane. Um, okay, I just got it again at 207 meters. That's, that's unbelievable. And to show you I'm not talking crap, let me find this guy quickly. And um, see you, show you, what I, there he is over there. So I just ranged that sucker twice. Ah, camera, focus. Uh, let me just override the focus here. So I just ranged that guy at 200 meters while in flight. Okay, let's get back to the regular programming. Um, so, kind of phenomenal I've, I've never tried that before so that I just saw him go and I actually just looked at him to to see if I can get a good view and I tried ranging him and it ranged him no problem so I don't think there's many range finders capable of doing that um, you guys would have seen I recently got the EL range from um, Shorovsky and I purchased that to do a comparison against this uh, because this for the price is an unbelievable piece of kit and uh, I highly recommend it I've had a lot of fun with it as always, if something goes wrong, I know it's covered by the VIP warranty, so that's not a problem. Uh, there's just some birds that have gone to sit down over there. It's guinea fowl season. And they're at 287 meters, so I mean, that's a little chip shot with the Creedmoor. Um, I'm blown away that this just ranged the bird in the air. Uh, when ranging, just, just something to keep in mind is I always try and give myself the best platform I possibly can, so I tend to sit down if I can. Um, especially if you're gonna be ranging something far, put your elbows on your knees and uh, get a good purchase on, on the binos. And I sort of press them against my glasses almost to keep them as stable as possible because any little vibration at like 800 meters is gonna make the ranging a little bit more difficult. 
What I really like about the EL range and the reason I've gone for it uh, is, is very simple. I used to have a monocular and a binocular. So I'd range of my mono, monocular, the Vortex Ranger 1500, uh, and then I get my binos, find the next target, range them, find the next target, range them. So when I got this, it eliminated that, so now I have one piece of kit uh, for, for something I used to need to take two pieces of kit with. I'm very sold on these. I will be putting them up against the EL range from Swarovski at double the price point, the EL range. I'm expecting it to be, to have the slight edge on this, but this is a phenomenal piece of kit and you won't be sorry um, for purchasing the Vortex Fury. Anyway, I'm gonna do some more shooting. Let me um, see if I can get a bird at long range. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess.